G'day folks, um, this is a short movie about what I have learned recently about making gears. Um, as you might be able to see from this, I've got some laser cut gears on a cunning device. Um, I made these at the Wellington Makerspace using their big laser cutter. Um, in order to get all these different size gears, um, I used a program called Gear Generator for Windows. Uh, which allows you to specify the number of teeth, uh, whether it's got spokes, um, the pitch of the teeth, the um, gear spacing and so on. Um, and then you can export to DXF, which is a, a CAD file type. Um, I then used a draft site on Mac, which is a free 2D CAD program, to uh, incorporate the gears into the overall design um, and then export it to the software that actually drives the laser cutter. So, um, a couple of observations. Um, this thing that I've made uh, is an automaton. Um, just because it was the first one I made, um, I used uh, all different size gears, so every gear in this has a different number of teeth. Um, the one thing that I would do differently next time is that there is one gear in here which only has six teeth which is the one in here. Um, gears with a low number of teeth um, tend to be quite problematic because uh, they can jam quite easily so um, in future I would probably only use um, seven tooth gears or greater. Um, a couple of other things I learned um, as you can see the gears actually have a cutout going through the axle um, where I've put a metal pin um, particularly for the larger gears here so this is an 18 tooth gear um, if you can imagine the force of that gear rotating against the axle there's actually quite a large force on the on where the gear is connected to the axle um, these are just glued in so what I was finding is that if there was any um, catching in any of the gear train um, the glue wasn't actually hold enough, the glue wasn't strong enough to hold the gear against the axle. So I've just put little cutouts in the center of each gear, a metal pin through there, and then the rotational force is transmitted through the pin into the axle, and it means the gear can't slip on the axle. Um, the other thing I learned about um, gears and laser cutting is. Um, to do with kerf. So kerf is the width of the cut if you're cutting something out. You can see there the, the kerf for a laser cutter is actually very thin. Um, it would be tricky to get a kerf this small with a scroll saw or something similar. Um, but there is still a kerf there. I, I think it's something of the order of um, 0.2 of a millimeter or something. So. Um, for a lot of applications that wouldn't be a problem. For gears, um, in order to mesh correctly, it, they have to be very, very accurately cut. And I was finding that the first versions of the gears, um, the kerf was meaning that they didn't mesh quite as they should have done if they were cut to exactly the, the right size, because the kerf means that they're very slightly smaller than what you specified. Um, what that meant I had to do was um, well, there's two things you can do. Either very slightly increase the size of the size of the gears to allow for the kerf, or move the axles very slightly closer together so they mesh in the right place. Um, so that took me quite a while to get that all sorted. Um, the end result is this. I'm a bit uh, obsessed with secular pods, so the automaton I made was um, a giant kraken trying to swallow a ship, which I will demonstrate there. So um, the reason there's so many gears in this is because uh, there's three sets of waves which go up and down. There's the tentacles, which sort of wave backwards and forwards. Um, the ship rocks back and forth on the waves. And as you can see, the Kraken itself um, pops up and then slowly sinks down into the waves again. So, 
That is my first automaton using the laser cutter at the Wellington Makerspace. Um, and I'd like to say a big thank you to Lee at the Makerspace who allowed me to uh, come in at inconvenient times and do inconvenient things and actually allowed me to get some of these sorted for Christmas. So thanks very much and hope this has been helpful.